ESA's satellites have been measuring changes to Antarctica's ice sheet and floating ice shelves for more than 30 years. Radar altimetry from ESA's cryosat tells us about changes in ice thickness. Ice on Antarctica's Amundsen sea coast is thinning rapidly, accounting for over half of Antarctica's contribution to sea level rise. Thwaites Glacier, the largest in the area, is currently speeding up, thinning, and retreating. Changes in ice thickness at a smaller spatial scale reveal processes happening under the ice sheet. Scientists have discovered a series of lakes beneath Thwaites Glacier, part of an extensive network of meltwater drainage channels. These lakes rapidly drained in 2013, releasing seven cubic kilometers of meltwater into the Amundsen Sea beneath the Thwaites ice shelf. The outflow of buoyant fresh water brought a turbulent flow of warm, deep ocean water up against the base of the floating ice. This caused sea ice to melt offshore and increased ocean melting at the base of the ice shelf. Satellite measurements showed ice thinning at the western end of the ice shelf and a retreat of its grounding line after the outflow. Computer simulations show the ice sheet to be most sensitive to ice shelf melting and thinning near the location of the subglacial outflow. Lake drainage and basal melt increase takes place in a context of general retreat and acceleration of the Thwaites Glacier. This exceptional event highlights the role that subglacial hydrology can play in modulating ocean melting and glacier retreat in Antarctica. It challenges our current representation of processes taking place along Antarctica's ice grounding zones. By combining satellite observations with computer models of glacier flow and ocean currents, ESA's 4D Antarctica and Polar Ice Shelves projects offer new insights into sub-glacial processes and their influence on ice sheet melting. <laughs>